Welcome to the GeoJet Plus tutorial series. In this session, you'll learn how to use the 15-day free trial of GeoJet Plus. The first thing you need to do is sign up for the free trial. So we're going to go to the Geospatial Experts website. But we do encourage you to use any number of our dealers all over the world. You'll see on our website we have a Try GeoJet Plus button. All of our resellers also have some way to uh, try out GeoJet Plus. When you click on it from our website, you'll be brought to a globe. Choose your continent. And here again, you'll have another opportunity to choose the reseller you're working with. For this demonstration, we're not going to choose any particular reseller. But this brings you to the form. Form's the same for everybody. You'll go ahead and enter in your own information. And the email that you enter in here is important because this is going to be sent to you as an email. You'll get all the confirmation information. And that's what you're going to use for the next part of the trial. So please make sure to put in your real email and put in a password that you can remember as well because that's going to come back. Once we've done entered information, we'll go ahead and create the trial account. We don't really need to remember the password for this demonstration. But um, now this is the confirmation email. Let me point out a couple of things here. On the upper left, you'll see a box with the serial number in it. You might want to write that down someplace. Um, this is going to be the serial number that you'll use to activate the different components of GeoJot Plus. GeoJot Plus isn't like normal apps that you use. Um, it's actually got three different components. We're going to scroll down this page and I'll show you what the components are. There is a mobile aspect of it. That is how you take pictures and enter field data. It goes up through the cloud and then it winds up on your desktop. Uh, or your PC. Um, so on your computer, that's the, the, that component is called GeoJot Plus Core. Those, these things are separately installed. Uh, and then you have the ability to log on to the administrator's dashboard, and that's on the web. And that's where you can manage all the different devices that you're using. Now the GeoJot Plus trial comes with five activations for the app and five activations for the core. But this means that you can have five different people out there putting this on their apps, using it, and then all of that information can be funneled into the same cloud and used on a single computer or up to five different computers. So it's really flexible to meet your needs. Now for this demonstration today, we'll be uh, installing it in the, both the app and the core. We're going to start by installing the app on a mobile device. And for our demonstration, we're going to be using the Android device. So here is my Android. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I need to get that information from that confirmation email over to my device so I can forward that email. I can even just forward the, the part of it I need. But here we're going to go ahead and open up the email on my mobile device. And there we can see the 15-day free trial. So we'll click on that. We're going to get that uh, serial number. And then we're going to scroll down a little ways. And we're going to see here, it says download GeoJot app to five mobile devices. Here you're going to click on the link for either Apple or Android, depending on what kind of device you have. Today we're going to click on Android, and it brings me to the App Store, where we'll click on Install. And then we'll accept. <clears throat> By the way, uh, if you're using Android, the way you can use the App Store is you have to have a Gmail account. So if you don't already have one, you can create one for that purpose and you don't ever have to use it again. But it does need you to have a Gmail account. Okay, now it's downloaded to my phone. I'll go ahead and open it. And the first thing it's going to ask me to do once it gets going is to register this device. Um, we've done it before, but I'll go ahead and show you with this new sample. When you register each device, uh, later on, you'll see on the administrator's dashboard how each device has a unique identifier so you can see all the different people out there in the field. That's why it's important as you set up your mobile devices to give each one a unique name. That way you can tell who's using which device and you can then activate, deactivate, or disable those devices later on. Once we're done typing in here, we're going to use our new serial number. You could also have copied this serial number out of that initial email and pasted it here. And then we'll go ahead and click Activate. And that's it. This is the home page of GeoJot Plus on the mobile device. All you need to do now is click on the camera icon, start taking pictures, and entering data. 
Now there's a lot more you can do to customize the configuration of these uh, devices and I would recommend that you watch our separate video on that uh, process so you can make it really suit your needs better. But for the sake of this video, we'll next show you how you go about getting the GeoJot Plus Core working. Let's go back to that confirmation email we had a minute ago. So you see we just did step number one down below where it says download the app to your mobile devices. Now step number two is you download the app to your computer. Could be your laptop or your desktop. You just click on that link that says click here to download. <coughs> your computer will begin downloading the EXE. And then you'll go through the install, which is the same as always, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to show you that. We'll just go ahead and assume we've downloaded it. And then we'll go back to our desktop. And we can see the icon over there on the left. It's that beautiful GeoDot Plus yellow icon. When you go ahead and click on that, it's going to be very much like your experience on um, the mobile device. You'll see the start page. And then you'll be asked to activate using the activation manager. Again, you'll enter in information. This can be different than the mobile device. It's whoever's using the computer. Now, some field teams go out. They send one copy of Core on a laptop, and they send the mobile device uh, with a copy of the app. And then one person takes photos in the process of the pictures, creating reports, and sending it on to the home office. In other places, they may have 10 or 20 or 100 people out there with apps taking photos, but all of the photos will get processed in the, by one computer uh, back in the office. You can do either way. Um, okay, now that we've filled out this information, we click Activate. And you're ready to use GeoJet Core. Before we leave the screen, I will point out that if you're done using it on one device and you want to move on and move it to another device, you can click that Deactivate button and then use the same serial number to activate it on another device at any time. So that's one way to easily transfer between devices in the field. Okay, so we'll just click Done for now. And this is the home screen for GeoJot Plus Core. On the upper left, you'll see the new project to the project manager. But uh, down on the middle of the home screen, you can see there's links to training videos and the quick start guide. Uh, and these are all great things to watch if you want to um, get familiar with GeoJot Plus Core to create reports. For right now, we're going to exit core, and I'm going to show you the last component of the GeoJot Plus system, and that is the administrator's dashboard. So best way to find it, um, there's links in there, but you can also go to the Geospatial Experts website, and you can just log in from there. You can log in from any place. You can get the internet. There you go. Log into GeoJot Plus, and when I click on that, I come to the dashboard. Actually, uh, if I wasn't already logged in, we'll go ahead and log off and I'll show you how that looks. There we go. So here's how I log in. Remember that email that you sent yourself or that you got from the confirmation page? We're going to start over. There we go. We go to the login. We type in that same email that we used when we first signed up for the free trial. This is our username. And we type in the same password that we used when we signed up for our free trial. If you forgot the password, you can use that button. You can also reset your password from the office. Now here we are on the welcome screen. We have more links at the bottom that describe the different aspects of GeoJot Plus, and it talks a little bit more about workflow and how you can move between them. When you click on serial numbers, we'll go ahead and show you that bar at the top. That Those are each menus. The serial numbers will show you all the serial numbers that you have. Right now, we've just signed up for a trial, so we have that one serial number, and it shows that it's in, uh, at the trial level. And you'll see it actually a couple of ways. It has the, both the app and the core. Uh, and you can see the activations are allowed are five, and the activations being used right now are just one. Now, when you click up on the activations uh, word up there above, you can see who's activated the software. So here, remember when we did um, the app trial, we typed in Joe employee, and Joe is using the app, and you can see that Sally is using Core. If you set up all five of your free trials, you would see five different names in here for app, and that's why, as I mentioned before, it's important to put unique information in each phone or each device. Um, now, let's say that Joe employee was using his app, but he broke his phone, and now you need to put it on a different device. Under Options, 
you see that little uh, edit button. Here, you can go ahead and change Joe's status from being active to being deactivated. If you deactivate Joe, it's just the same as pushing that red button on the device. Now that serial number can be uh, used on any other mobile device and activated. Now let's say Joe um, left your company and you don't want him using this app anymore ever. You go back to that edit button. There we go. And then instead of deactivated, you say disabled. Now once you do that, you can see from here, it says disabled under status. You'll notice it has the machine code. That machine code is specific to Joe's device. That means that as long as it says disabled here, Joe will not be able to launch and use GeoJot Plus with that same serial number. He could, he'd have to create his own serial number. So this is really a handy way for you to control who can and can't access um, GeoJot Plus on the mobile devices, and the same is true for Core. Um, that's it for the activation screen. If you're ready to purchase, you can go to the purchase screen and then select the level of GeoJot Plus you'd like to purchase, along with the number of um, activations you'd like, and you buy it per mobile device. Okay, we'll go, oh, so there you go. You can show here the number of activations that you'd like to add. And you can purchase it with the annual subscription or you can have your card charge monthly. Then up above, there's information on contacting us. Uh, if you were working with one of our resellers, you would see the reseller information here. Go up to the account. And under account, you can change some things about yourself. You can change the email. Um, you can also reset your password here. Um, and you might want to do that if you want to give someone else the ability to administer this account. You can also view your subscriptions from there. And that's it. This concludes your tutorial on how to download and begin using the GeoJot Plus trial.